All right, so for this fourth one, we have that the pH of a solution measures its acidity and can be determined using the formula blah, okay? Where C is a concentration of hydronium ions in the solution, okay? Measured in moles per liter. Also important, here it says, a lower pH indicates a more acidic solution. That sounds very important. It'll probably come by or be important later. The concentration of hydronium ions in a particular type of coffee is this number, that moles per liter. And so for part A, we need to calculate the pH of the coffee. Now for these sort of problems, usually they throw a lot of information at you and it can be a little bit confusing. So when you face one of these, read the problem a couple of times. Okay, highlight the important words as I did just now and work from there. See? And so this guy in blue that I'm going to put now, okay, is a formula. See? It's a formula that helps us determine the pH, or in other words, the acidity of something. See? So pH equals negative log base 10 times C. And what was C again? C is a concentration of hydronium ions in the solution. And so for coffee, what is the concentration of hydronium ions in coffee? Well, it tells us here that the concentration of hydronium ions, ions sorry, in a particular type of coffee is this number. So this number, we can plug it in there, and we will find the pH for coffee. So pH equals negative log base 10 times C, which C in this case is going to be 1.3 times 10 to the power of negative 5. All right, so I know this looks kind of nasty, but something that I can point out here that is kind of cool is that if you follow the process of in any sort of math problem, you're going to get there. So you're going to get to the answer. And so although this looks kind of nasty, once you get to know well how to use your calculator, this is easy peasy. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to point out is that there's a negative here. See, so for my calculator, I'm going to go ahead and put a negative. Now I need to put log 10. See, now a lot of people, what they might get confused with is that when they press log next to this 7, cierto? there is no 10. Dale? So logs have a base. See, this has log base 10. Sometimes it's log base 20. It changes the function just a little bit. See? Um, and the default, actually, I'm fairly sure, is that it's base 10. See, so you can just plug it in from here, and it's fine. But for those of you that are a little bit nervous, like why is there a 10 there and stuff like that, I will show you a trick. You can press alpha window, hitting that F2, alpha window, and you can go to log base. See, and if you go to log base, you can plug in the 10. And then you calm your anxiety and know that you're going to do it well. See, and then this thing in parentheses, I can go ahead and plug in C, which as we see, no pun intended, is 1.3 times 10 to the power of negative 5. So I go ahead, press enter. I end up with a pH of 4.88. Da, 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 60. So that is for part A. Then they tell us, okay, that a different unknown liquid has 10 times the concentration of hydronium ions of the coffee in part A. And we need to determine whether this unknown liquid is more or less acidic than the coffee and to justify the answer mathematically. And so now that we understand how the log works for part B, it's not that much different. So we take pH, we have negative log, we have base 10, and we multiply it by C times 10. C times 10. Why is it C times 10? Because they tell us that this liquid, this unknown liquid, has 10 times the concentration. So that's why I'm doing times 10. See? So pH equals negative log base 10 times C times 10. See, we saw that this is C. So I'm going to go ahead and put 1.3 times 10 to the negative 5 times 10. I know it looks kind of nasty, okay? But if you plug it all into your calculator and trust your calculator, it's going to be fine. See, so if I go ahead and plug this in, I end up with, well, let's see. So over here, I can do times... 10. So there I have there I have negative log 10 times C times 10. See? Beautiful. I end up with 3.8860.
So my pH in this case for the unknown one is 3.8860. And from here, they're asking us to justify mathematically which is more or less acidic, see? And so a lot of people here would simply say, oh, the answer in part A is bigger, so 4.88, 8, which is the coffee, is bigger than the unknown, which is 3.8. 860. And they would just say, oh, okay, so that means the coffee is more acidic. Boom. I'm over. Cierto? Now that's a common trap. See? And it has to do with you knowing well how to read acidic levels, how to read pH. And as you see what it put in red here, okay, it says that a lower pH indicates a more acidic solution. So if your pH is lower, that means it is more acidic. And so a common trap here that a lot of people probably did is that they saw the bigger number, they assumed the bigger number meant it's more acidic. Okay, small mistake, context matters. That's why when you read these exercises, highlight the most important thing. When it tells you that a lower pH indicates a more acidic solution, and it's the last sentence of your paragraph, that shit probably matters, all right? So for part B, determine which of the two is more or less acidic, I can tell you that the unknown is more acidic because 3.8 is lower than 4.88. Is more acidic than what? More acidic than coffee. And for those of you that are a little bit nervous and how do you justify that mathematically, this part here, ¿cierto? One way you can do it is literally putting it like this. See, you are saying which number is bigger with this special sign. That, that right there is how you justify mathematically, by saying that 4.88 is greater than 3.88, see? Another way you can do it is simply graphing it and comparing it from there, but I think this right here is way more intuitive. But anyways, that is how you solve number four.